everyone and welcome to today's topic on flip the switch with Afua Talks. Today's topic is on affiliate marketing and this is uh, just an introduction to affiliate marketing. This is a high level introductory uh, recording. So um, for those that are looking to get into the online space and not sure how to start making money online, uh, affiliate marketing is a good way to um, get your feet wet and start making money online. So um, if you're looking to um, make money, I'm going to be coming out with um, my affiliate marketing series, which will uh, go in depth on what affiliate marketing is, how you can start, how you can create your niche, how you can uh, find a product to promote and uh, ways you can sign up for different uh, affiliate programs. Also, I would be talking about uh, the type of marketing you can do and um, setting up capture pages, um, your landing pages, um, setting up your funnel system and autoresponder. So um, stay tuned. I'll be coming out live uh, on my series. I will, I will have a Facebook um, live recording as well. I'll be training on Facebook uh, and I'll also have my series on YouTube. So please stay tuned to this channel and uh, subscribe to it, like it, and please share my uh, YouTube channel. So let's get into the definition of what affiliate marketing is. And before I start with the definition, I would like to put my disclaimer up. I'm not your financial advisor. Please reach out to your financial advisor for any financial advice. So now we can define what affiliate marketing is. This is the uh, Wikipedia definition of what affiliate marketing is all about. It says that affiliate marketing is an arrangement in which affiliate receive commission for each visit, sign up, or sales they generate for a merchant. This arrangement allows businesses to outsource part of the sales process. It is a form of performance-based marketing where the commission acts as an in incentive for the affiliate. This commission is usually a percentage of the price of the product being sold, but you can also, it, it, sorry, but it can also be a flat rate per referral. So in a nutshell, um, you can um, see what affiliate marketing is all about. And this says, uh, let's go to what Amazon says. Uh, Amazon is very big when it comes to affiliate marketing. Um, they have an affiliate marketing program where they uh, allow affiliates to sign up. And once they sign up and get approved, then they will get the link and they can promote anything they choose to promote. So let's see what Amazon says on affiliate marketing. It says, uh, affiliate marketing program that allows website owners and bloggers to create links and earn referral fees when customers click through and buy products from Amazon. So this is Amazon uh, definition, but in a nutshell, um, when you come in as an affiliate, you partner with the merchant, the company, and uh, you will get the links which you can embed into your website or blog. And once a customer or your online visitor uh, clicks uh, the link, on your uh, marketing channel, whether your blog or your website, and they actually purchase the item which you which you uh, are promoting on your website or blog, then you get a commission. That's just a layman definition of what an affiliate is. So it's a very interesting concept, and uh, a lot of people are making money with this affiliate marketing. So let's talk about the players in affiliate marketing. And who are the players? We have the merchant. 
The merchant is the person or company that sells products or services. They pay the affiliate a commission for every sales generated through your referrals. So I've mentioned this before. We have companies like um, Amazon. Amazon is very huge, big on affiliate marketing uh, program. They have a lot of items you can sell. You know how big Amazon is. They sell almost everything. It's a one-stop shop. So you can sign up on Amazon. Um, once you get approved, you'll get a link and you can promote anything you want to uh, promote on uh, your blog, your website. You can set up a marketing campaign on Facebook, on Instagram. So um, you uh, promote any item which way you choose to. Uh, besides the Amazon um, affiliate, they also have um, this click funnel, which this is more like a network of merchants that uh, offers affiliate program. This uh, click funnel basically have lists of merchants that um, that has uh, that, um, that have affiliate programs and uh, they allow affiliates to join them and um, sell any product on their behalf. So uh, uh, an affiliate can sign up uh, on click funnels and uh, choose whichever company he or she uh, decides to promote. So this is more like a um, network of uh, merchants. So this is a good way too. It's actually very uh, good to sign up through a uh, network like this. Uh, there's another network uh, which is called uh, Tea Party. Sorry, uh, it's kind of cut off, but it's also an affiliate network program. So there are different ways you can, and they have a uh, click bank. They have quite a few. We have a uh, commission junction. That's one good one. I used to be a part of that uh, a long time ago. That's a very good one. They have quite a few. So you can also um, Google uh, affiliate uh, program network and you will see, I mean, you, you will get to see tons of them. So uh, the next player, when it comes to affiliate marketing is the affiliate. The affiliate is the person or company that promotes the merchant's product or services. They earn a commission for every sales made through their unique referral link. So as an affiliate, yes, you have tons of products and services you can promote, whether on your blog, on your website, it can be uh, a marketing campaign on Facebook, on Instagram, on even on YouTube, you can decide to do a video. So, but the uh, best way for a good marketer, affiliate marketer to promote is to have is our own niche. And what's a niche? A niche pretty much is a uh, specialization on a particular product, or a particular um, category you, you are passionate about. A niche is like, let's, I'm going to give you an example of a niche. A niche is like um, baking. Let's say you're, you're passionate about baking, you like to bake strawberry cake or pound cake. You can have your blog uh, or a mini website or a landing that talks about baking and the steps of baking a uh, pound cake, for example, the ingredients you use uh, to bake this pound cake. And assuming that uh, the item you're trying to promote is, uh, let's say, baking pan or the baking bowl. I'm not sure what they call it, but um, that's what you're trying to promote. So you can um, indirectly um direct your audience to buy the baking pan so you can say something like oh uh if you uh if you want to uh learn how to bake a uh, pound cake these are the ingredients you uh two cups of flour two cups of uh, milk and once you've list all your ingredients you can now say uh and you can use this amazing baking pan so that should be your closing capture 
in directing them to buy the baking pan which you are promoting. So that's uh, how you uh, create a niche for yourself. Make sure you have a niche and strategically um, get them, get your audience to buy the baking pan. And once they click on the link, on the embedded link into your site and purchase the baking pan, then you get a commission for your uh, your affiliate efforts. So, and basically, I'm going to uh, have my um, affiliate marketing series, which will cover all the uh, in-depth knowledge of how to create a niche, how to find your niche, how to come up with uh, your blog, your website, and how to do your marketing campaign, and so on and so forth. Uh, the example of a niche is, um, which I've just explained, is uh, how to bake in, uh, I mean, how to bake pound cake, for example. So this is a sample of a niche. This is, uh, like, as you, can, as you can see, these are all uh, ads, uh, SEO ads, which uh, is been uh, placed on Google. And when you type in pound cake, this is what comes up. And... Best believe most of this uh, campaign are um, affiliate marketing. So they have a link. They have somebody trying to sell you uh, that is tied to all these uh, ads you see. So that's that. So let's talk about uh, benefits of affiliate marketing for merchants. Yes, so uh, we all know it takes money for merchants to advertise their products and services. So one of the benefits for them is that it increases sales and revenue. So the more affiliate they can have um, their belt, the more money they make for themselves. It's a cost-effective marketing strategy for them. So when an affiliate marketer comes to promote, um, the affiliate marketer is also exposing their brand. So and also they are not paying much money in advertising because we as affiliate marketers are advertising on their behalf. So and once the once our audience or our uh, online visitor clicks on that item on our blogs or website, guess what? They get the business. So, and they're not doing any uh, marketing, basically. So, and that's what this is saying. It's very cost-effective for the merchant. Uh, it increases uh, increased brand awareness for, for them and customer loyalty. Basically, uh, yes, once uh, your online audience clicks through and purchases the item or at least read about it, even if they don't buy, you know. So um, the brand awareness is, um, you know, it's, I mean, is increased. And the customer loyalty, once they buy, um, you know, they, the customer can go back to their website and uh, buy. And at least the, the customer knows that uh, I can get this item on this website. So, but... Um, this uh, loyalty, customer loyalty, is good, but there's a way and a trick that uh, you, you need to know when it comes to uh, having these customers coming back to your blog instead of going to a uh, merchant's website. So uh, this last piece, which says increased brand awareness and customer loyalty, will be tweaked a little bit once we get to um, the affiliate marketing series. So for now, I'm going to talk about the benefits of affiliate marketing for affiliate marketers. Passion, oh, sorry, passive income stream. So it's a good passive income stream once you've uh, done all your uh, underground work, like setting up your website, your blogs, is your online campaign is going on or your marketing campaign is going on, then at that point, it becomes a passive uh, passive income stream. So at that point, you slip in and uh, uh, folks are just finding your uh, blog or your site and they're clicking through, they're making purchases, then you're getting paid while you're sleeping. Point number two, uh, no need to create product or provide customer service. Yes, that's true. Um, the 
product is already there. They just click in the link and buy from the uh, merchant. And if they have any questions, they reach out directly to the merchant's customer service support team. So you as an affiliate marketer don't have to do that. But if you want to uh, incorporate um, customer service so that they can reach out to you directly, I mean, you can also do that. So that's an option, uh, which I will cover more uh, in depth when I come uh, when it comes to my uh, when I come up with my affiliate marketing series. Uh, flexible work schedule, um, location independence uh, means you can work at your own time, at your own pace. It's up to you when you want to work, and because it's online business, you can work anywhere you want. So that's a great advantage and benefit of uh, an affiliate uh, marketer. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the consumer, which is uh, on this slide. The, the consumer is also a key player in affiliate marketing. The consumer is the person who purchases the merchant's product or services. They buy the product through the affiliate referral link um, that you're giving. So they can be people that comes to your blog or your article or your website. And once they click on the, on the embedded link on your website or blog, guess what? Once they buy, uh, they are your consumers and they are also key. Well, they are the, uh, I would say the <laughs> main key players of your af affiliate marketing because if they don't buy, you don't make money, basically. Types of affiliate marketing. There are four main types of affiliate marketing. We have the pay per sale, which is a PPS. We have the pay per click, which is a PPC. We have the pay per lead, which is a PPL. Then we also have the pay per view, which is a PPV. Per sale is the most common type of affiliate marketing. Affiliate earns a commission for every sale through their referral link. So the four types of marketing will be covered more in depth uh, in my affiliate marketing series, which uh, I'm about to launch. In conclusion of this video, affiliate marketing is a way for merchants to increase sales and for the affiliate to earn commissions for promoting products and services. With the rise of e-commerce, affiliate marketing has become an essential part of online marketing strategies. So with that being said, that's, that brings me to the end of this video. And thank you for your time. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please be on the lookout for my uh, um, affiliate marketing uh, series, which is about to uh, be launched. Thank you, and please stay glued to this um, channel and flip this switch with Afua Talks.